Hi St. Mary's friends, it's Miss Amelia here for story time today. I hope you all are well and staying warm in all this cold weather. Today we are celebrating the last Sunday of the season of Epiphany. That's the growing time that we celebrate after Jesus is born. And this is the last Sunday of that whole season. And always this season ends with the story of the transfiguration. Why don't you try saying that word? It's a hard one. Transfiguration. That's a very big word that means being changed, changed into something new. And so I'm going to read to you the story of the transfiguration from the Bible, and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the storybook that's going to follow in just a moment. So this is from, if you have this at home, from our Spark Storybook Bible, and it's on page 358. Peter, James, and John were very excited. They were climbing a mountain with Jesus. Higher and higher they climbed right up to the top. Then they noticed something different about Jesus. His face and clothes were bright and shiny like the sun. Moses and the prophet Elijah were standing with Jesus talking about God's promise to save the world. Peter couldn't believe his eyes. Suddenly a cloud covered the mountain and a boy said, this is my son. Listen to him. The voice was God. Peter, James, and John covered their faces. Then Jesus touched them, and they peeked. Everything was the same as it was before, even Jesus. On the way back down the mountain, Jesus, Peter, James, and John talked about God's promise, but they didn't tell anyone else what had happened on the mountain for a very long time. There you've got Peter, James, and John, and they're squinting because Jesus was so shiny. So that's the story of the transfiguration, being changed. Jesus was changed into something dazzling white. All his clothes were glowy, glowy, glowy. And it is a weird story. It's okay to think it's a weird story because it is kind of strange. But what it reminds us of is that we should marvel at how amazing Jesus is. So when you're going through the week this week, I hope you think about that, just how amazing Jesus is. Now, the storybook that we have today is called Goose, and it's by Molly Bang. I know this is the tiniest little book ever. Um, and this story is about a goose who is separated from her family and raised by a family of woodchucks. And Goose doesn't realize exactly who she is. But then something happens and she has to change. She realizes she is transfigured into the goose that she is and it helps her get home. So I hope you enjoy this story and I'll be back with you in just a minute. Goose, written and illustrated by Molly Bang, published by Scholastic. On a dreadfully dark and stormy night, an egg was blown right out of its nest. It rolled and rolled and rolled down a deep, deep hole until it landed in a den of woodchucks where a baby goose hatched out. That baby goose was adored by her new brothers and sisters and her new mama and papa who taught her everything they thought a youngster should know. And that little goose learned very, very well. But the goose was often sad. She felt different from everyone else and nothing could make her feel better. Her family tried to make her happy, but they couldn't. Her friends tried to make her happy, but they couldn't. So the goose set off into the world to see what she could figure out by herself. Things only got worse and worse. Oh, there she is, all caught up in the brambles and the thorns. All alone, the goose felt sadder and sadder. She was so lonely. She didn't notice where she was going. She lost her footing 
and fell. Down, down, down she dropped, falling toward the ocean below. Fighting to stay aloft, she flailed and flapped her wings and found out she could fly. So she flew and flew and flew all the way home. You know, that goose surprised everyone, especially herself. I love this story of Goose by Molly Bang, and I hope you did too. This week, I want you to just marvel in all the wonderful things that you see as you go along, all the wonderful things that Jesus has given us. Today, if you're watching this on Sunday, is Valentine's Day, so I want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day and send lots of love to you, and please, please, please share lots of love with all the people you are around. And then next week when we come back to you, things will look a little different because we're going to be in the season of Lent and we have some special things in store to share with you during the season of Lent. Please remember how very much you are loved and I can't wait till I see you again soon.